When I got my new jet lathe, one of the first issues I ran into was that the cutter height wasn't correct. I found that when I made a face cut, the cutter would leave a nub at the center of the stock, and that meant that the cutter's too low. So with the standard four-sided tool holder, I needed to shim the cutter up. I couldn't find any package shim stock, but I found the next best thing in some automotive feeler gauges. These really are just stacks of different thickness shim material, and they're usually held together so you can take them apart to use individual leaves. The toughest part of using these turned out to be wiping the oil off them that they come covered in. I left the cutter underneath the nub and I made up a stack of shims that got me to the center of the nub. This may not be the exact stack that I need but we can get real close to start with. The first thing I did was to remove the cutter and then brush away all the chips. We want to make sure that everything is absolutely clean before we start shimming it up. When we install shims, it's important that they're fully under the cutter. We can't have any kind of rocking or any unsupported length. Once the cutter is positioned, we can tighten down the screws and make sure we tighten them down evenly. And then I took another face cut to see how the cutter worked at this height. And it left just a little bit of a nub. We're close, but not perfect. I added a 10 thousandths of an inch thick shim to the stack and made this cut. And it turned out that was perfect. When I took the tool fully to center, the nub disappeared and I had a nice clean flat surface. So now that I've gone through the trouble of figuring out the correct shimming for this tool, I want to save that. I put that tool with its shim stack in a plastic sandwich bag so I always have them together for the next time I bring that tool out for use. And setting this tool up next time is going to go a lot faster.